Hello! Welcome to Shadow of Judgment. What is Shadow of Judgment? This is where we look at the sneakies, the dark side, the things that like we don't see on the surface, right? The shit that's beneath. We get to see what's on the shadow side of you or the person you're dealing with. If I say you, don't worry about it. But we're going to see which sign we are going to pick next. We already did fire signs. Water signs, you're up next. Woohoo! Good deal. This is like the, almost the exact same order I did it last time. Almost. Alright, so, Cancer. Step up to the plate, my dudes and dudettes. Well, technically dudes, like a unisex term. I don't know why people get pissed about that. Odd story once. This chick, when I was in basic training, yelled at me because I called her dude. He's just like, I'm not a dude. We're professionals now. So I kept, purposely kept calling her dude the remainder of the time we were there. And it only annoyed me because she would go around calling other people dude. But when I said it, she didn't like it. She would keep doing, like, this chick would, like, come in and just try to say really ignorant shit to me all the time. Like, she was from Maine. And I guess in Maine, like, the biggest problem these people have is, like, with threesomes, which is the story she would tell. So it was just, like, really, like, oh, okay, that's weird, but whatever. I don't know why I brought that up. It was just one of those things. <laughs> I don't know. Like, she was an odd person. All right, Cancer, you're the first one. We got the King of Wands right here. He is being kind of a dick from the straight from the dicky mod, triple dick filtered. <laughs> yeah, someone's being like all arrogant, stubborn, mad because they're not happy. Someone might come for the truth. Someone's ignoring the King of Swords and just looking the other way, like I have no idea what you're talking about. Um, still not happy when it comes to like the future sense of things. Someone wants this truth so they can get out of this headspace. Mm. This one will move forward to being happy again. Which they eventually will. They're not happy now, but they are going to eventually move to their happiness. This person's got an interesting shadow, Cancer. Like, okay, Cancer, you guys are always in your shadows. <laughs> we got secrets. We got heartbreak. Okay. Um, there's, a, like, some sort of connection, some commitment that somebody has. Possibly you, Cancer. You feel like you don't have this... You feel like there's no moving forward to this. This feels like... You're kind of using what it is that you establish as right and wrong belief or whatever to beat the fuck out of anybody who comes near your chariot. Like, even small children. Small children are, like, not an animal, though. You'll beat the fuck out of someone who hits an animal. But children, no, nah, no. Nah, th th that's bonus points, right? They should have never been in any... The street you were on, they didn't want to get run over, right? That's kind of, like, how you kind of feel about things. Like, fuck a man, right? And, but, like, definitely almost like, I don't know, it's almost like you're holding back on your passions. Like, you're holding back, and that's what's keeping you in this kind of stalemate position, really. I mean, you have the strength to keep holding on, sure, but, like, I don't know. Do you have a reason to? I don't know. But... In your shadow, Cancer, what's going on behind the scenes? Somebody is arrogantly looking over everything, right? Just being really petty about it with the King of Wands. But after a while, it seems like somebody settled down and started, like, looking back at some scenario where, like, I guess when the Emperor was younger, he started fucking with people. <laughs> playing head games with them and eventually these people left and I think he kind of took it wrong with this king of wands right here but he's keeping that a secret now someone's kind of looking for truth and that's why this emperor's looking this way like mm, maybe I possibly did something like that but I didn't but you know I, I wouldn't have done that if you had you know like one of those things right where it's just kind of like you know yeah I played the head games but you didn't have to play back with me and it's just kind of like 
Are you really playing if people don't know that it's a game? You know, one of the things. Not entirely you, Cancer, but I'm just saying with this, like, whole thing, it's like, hmm. Like, sometimes, Cancer, you just don't come out and say shit. Like, which is really weird. But I'm a Capricorn. You're, like, my opposite, right? You know. But this person's coming out looking for truth because they went out of this headspace. Um... And I think they'd give good news if they got the news, right? Because there is heartbreak here. Uh, over here, someone's not happy, possibly Leo. Also, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, and Aries over here, too. And it's like, they were unhappy, but now they're moving forward to a happier place, even after this heartbreak right here. So that's your shadow of judgment, Cancer. Hmm. That's an interesting one. Yours is actually kind of nice. Yours is like you're actually contemplating over shit. Possibly with the breakup or whatever, you know? Alright, Scorpio! It is your turn for your shadow of judgment. Let's see what's going on underneath the surface with you. Let's see. The star and the empress reverse. You want to communicate with someone who's really, really nettled? But there's an essence of wasting time because there's separation. You want to communicate from your, with your love, you know? Doot, 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 doot. All right, let's see. Someone is just being arrogant and like just completely fucking ignoring like they're breaking hard just be like I don't fucking care you know <laughs> that kind of attitude when it comes to the broken hard they'll just ignore it and they'll get offended when you mention it it's like you know like I ain't missing you at all I'm missing you you know it's like that kind of thing where the dude's just like you know like I don't miss that bitch but it's just like there's a storm that's raging, you know, like he's all dramatic on the inside. And like, there's a storm that's raging inside of me, but I don't fucking miss you, bitch. <laughs> that's what they're kind of doing. They're like trying to ignore their broken heart, their emotions and shit. And it's like just even having a good time just isn't any sort of like thrill. Like, yeah, we could party all the time. But it's kind of getting boring, I feel like. Could be a lot of substances, too. Maybe somebody is, like, ending up with an addiction that's leaving them, um, feeling hollow. And someone wants to make an offer to this person and give them a tenth pentacle. Or they're expecting an offer with the tenth pentacle, Scorpio. Right? So let's see what's going on here with you this week. What's your shadow? What's going on in the background? Someone wants to communicate with somebody they separated from, but they're holding themselves back because, well, mm, I guess because, like, maybe this emperor back a long, long time ago when he was young was one of the people that walked away from this person who played head games. Or it could be the emperor who is this person because I always think that it's him that's doing it because he is... Aries, and Aries dominates, Aries wins, Aries is competitive, Aries will do whatever the fuck they want. Like, they don't give a shit. They do not give a shit. But it's like he's older and this gentleman's younger, so it could be either or. But someone is doing the whole martyr, I'm gonna waste some fucking time before I take this, like, leap of faith over either to the people I fucked over or to the person who fucked me over? Whichever one you want to pick. It's all really about control in this situation. Whose ball is in whose court, right? The Empress reverse. Someone's very nettled, very upset, feeling bitter, um, discredited, unloved, and in turn, they're not loving anybody else back. And it could be you, Scorpio, or a Cancer or Pisces you're dealing with. Who's got the thousand yard stare just being like, you know what, I'm just going to keep ignoring my emotions. It seems simpler for me. And you're pretty much keeping all of that a secret. You're not even expressing um, such things, right? You don't want anybody to know, I feel like. You know, those are your emotions. You keep your secrets to yourself. That's your shadow of judgment. 
Mm. Right? Right. Okay. Pisces, it's your turn. Last but definitely not least. That's right. Okay, let's see what's going on with you, my lovely little fishy roos. If you were a cannibal and you ate a Pisces, do you think that, like, they taste like Swedish fish or goldfish? It's just a question I just thought of. Like, if you fried them up or made them into jelly, like, which one would you prefer? I just not thought, I don't know why I thought of that. I think it's because I called you fishy. That don't matter. We're going to look at your shadow judgment. Let's see what's going on underneath the surface. You definitely want to communicate about a new cycle or ending a cycle. And we're all ending cycles. We're starting new ones, like... Very, 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 Right? Oh, look at that. There's a little Libra, a little bit of justice involved with this as well. Some karma. Doot. 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 Hmm. I see. Look at you. Oh, look at that thing fucking go. You'll also be dealing with the scorpion in this situation. Ew, that's gross. Oh, that's so much. Why is the vacuum cleaner right there? Why is there cat hair in my house? That's, that's, ew, okay. Uh, okay, anyway. Now I'm just freaked out. That must be in the vacuum, the house skin. I just did that yesterday. Oh well. Anyway, let's go back to your reading before I get distracted again. Doot. Doot. Alright, Pisces. First off, it feels like somebody's wasting time or wasting their energy trying to come off one way when they're really another. We have communication right here with somebody who's well established with themselves and can manifest perfectly on their own. But there is a separation here between two people who are just not, they're just not good together. Like when they connect, bad things happen, which is why they're separated. It's like some, or this is like intuition with the star too, because it is about reaching out in order to gain guidance and shit. And someone could be like, learning how to establish peace within themselves in order to manifest and during this whole manifestation stage or learning how to master your skills in order to be adaptive because yeah the magician is awesome the magician can do anything and everything he's able to figure things out if he can't he'll find somebody who can teach him how or he learns to adapt to the situation but either way he's very malleable and he, during this malleability, it's like you realize there's something up with this connection. Um, somewhere along the way, Justice, possibly Libra, invited you to understand a new, that there is no new beginning or new start with this Two of Cups right here, with this connection, because it's not good. And it's got you paranoid. Um, a new cycle is beginning, and you're ready to come out of your shell and let things change. So new can come in. Because you're tired of being paranoid about this whole connection shit. Like, people just will not leave you alone. <laughs> but there might be even a thing where you want to ch change some aspect about yourself. Let things go so new things can begin. Could be dealing with a Scorpio right here. You might open up to them. That'd be kind of creepy. But, that's your reading, Pisces. There you go with your judgment calls. Thank you all for watching my videos. If you want a personal reading, just hit me up in my email below in the description box. I don't charge. I take tips and, tips and donations, though, with my PayPal. I hope you all have a good day. I will see you when I do this next week once again. And all the best wishes. Love you. Bye-bye.